Good day from a beautiful sunny day and winter's day in Taronga. Today I'm test riding something that, uh, well, it's a bit out of the box to me really, I wouldn't even consider it, but I've seen so many YouTube videos in the last few weeks of everybody just raging on about this bike, about how amazing it is, etc, etc. The bike comes from China, oddly enough. I watched a video where a guy had just done 10,000 hard yakka kilometers over all terrain stuff and um, he'd fallen off it multiple times and basically he hadn't, da hadn't really damaged it at all for a couple of scratches on the crash bars. CF Moto 450 twin sort of adventure bike really. First thing I noticed uh, getting on it, I mean it's, it's actually quite wide, you know, a wide tank and all that, but then that's probably for the for the case, <clears throat> the first thing I noticed when I got on it is it's so light, very, very light. Um, you know, you just feel like you're sitting on a fucking 125, really. Anyway, um, it's got all the bells and whistles. It's got the, all the electronic, I don't know if you've got to see that in the sunlight. But got a nice um, display. ABS on and off here. Got a couple of different uh, functions different modes it doesn't have of all these little fancy thing electronic things it's got it doesn't have self-cancelling indicators which is the first thing i can my first fault that i can find in it it's soft the brakes are really good it's only got a single disc on the front it weighs nothing it weighs when i say nothing it weighs uh, 190 kilos uh, fully fueled thereabouts so when you compare that to say something like, it actually feels like it's like you're riding a Tenere, very similar, obviously a little bit less power, but same sort of riding style to it. Quite a pretty bike, looks good. The thing about this bike, okay, having a bit of fun. The thing about this bike is um, its price. It's ten thousand dollars, ten thousand New Zealand dollars. You know, on the road. And that's cheap, man. That's so cheap for what you get. Plus, it's got a five year warranty. And that's unheard of. So, you know, for commuting, if you were to put street tires on it and you just use it as a commuter bike, it'd be great. If you just want to use it as a put some knobblies on it and just use it as your all time, you know, off road, beach, whatever you wanted, you know, <coughs> fire roads, fire trails. I'd say it handle a fair amount of um, even single trails and not not heavy to to pick up like I mean I had the Tenere as you probably know for a year or two and uh, went on a lot of adventures on it and um, had to pick it up a few times it's quite he it's heavy it's, uh, the Pan America is even heavier but this thing is fucking weighs nothing very light very easy to for an old codger like me to pick up anyway that's it the CF the CF Moto, I just had it on the motorway, I haven't had it off-road. <clears throat> just had it on the motorway in about town. you got to rev it a bit. <clears throat> I mean, getting off the Pan America onto this is a bit, bit of a bit of a shock, but um, you know, all adjustable. Even the forks, <clears throat> even the forks are fully adjustable. Little windscreen, you just click it up and down. It's cool. Mirrors, you can fold them away if you're going off road so you don't break them. This one, <clears throat> you know, I quite like it. It's got a lot of potential for just a, a, a zip around town, a couple of soft bags in it, down at a supermarket, through traffic, um, or taking it for a good tear up in the fire trails. I don't think you could do better than this, really, for the money. Anyway, over and out. <clears throat> 